Hey everybody, welcome back. Do you like my outfit? I feel like I look more like a nun than a bride. <laughs> I just want to be a bride, but I will live vicariously through these entitled brides instead. <laughs> Hi bees, I got engaged a couple weeks ago to my boyfriend of 10 years. I always wanted a larger carrot yellow diamond ring on yellow gold. A few months ago, my boyfriend asked me to send him photos of the ring styles I liked and I told him exactly what I wanted. His mother called me later and told me that she always wanted a yellow diamond as well, but they don't have yellow diamond in the family. Apparently she wanted me to have his grandmother's ring and he was just gonna take the diamond and change the setting. After they kept insisting, I sent him a photo of a two carat diamond with a halo and a paved band. I really like blingy looks. Well, he finally proposed on January 3rd. The proposal wasn't spectacular. The ring he gave is with his grandmother's diamond, which I didn't want, and I'm supposed to pass it down to our future children. At first I liked the ring. I was just excited to be engaged. But the more days that go by, the more I hate it. I don't know what to do. I'm upset because it's not what I always wanted and I waited so long for a proposal. Does anyone know how I can talk to him about it? I think you should just keep your thoughts to yourself. Otherwise you might not have your ring or your fiance. Bride sparks outrage by demanding stepdaughter, nine, wears shapewear to her wedding because nothing fits her. Just buy her a dress that's a little bit bigger. <laughs> Woman. <laughs> Do you not understand your entitled demands are so entitled that they made it into the sun? <laughs> you pay us $50 and then start taking photos that you can sell at the wedding to people who want them. That way we can use the money for the wedding and you still might get paid. I said no, obviously, but nicely, she was very upset with this and started to cry when I said I'd do the wedding for just $50, which is way below my rate. She started with the bridezilla anger stuff, which I had to deflect for an hour until she called me a bad friend and said she'd do the same for me. Eventually she left in the huff, I shrugged it off, then I started getting phone calls and messages in the following weeks from mutual friends and even her family, who I've never met. Soon I'm getting messages from people saying I'm selfish and that I'm ruining my best friend's wedding. They overestimated our friendship and even that I should be ashamed for leaving a friend out in the cold. So I said I'd do it for free because why not? Free booze. That wasn't good enough. She was insistent I pay her. <laughs> what the f This is insane. You're insane. People are insane. How are these people married and not me? <laughs> oh right, because I'm insane too. I forgot. Sorry. For a moment there I felt that I was somewhat normal, but maybe in comparison to this lady. <laughs> Phone calls and messages persisted, getting all scorched earth. Several dozen calls in the same day and several hundred texts. We would get a stop in at least once per day, which became increasingly threatening. It was turning into a sh show. So I finally just told her I'd do it and pay her on the wedding day. I never had intention of showing up at this point because they just wouldn't F off no matter how many times I told them to. This was about three weeks before the wedding. Like was her family in the mafia or something? <laughs> I don't know. I would never, I would never feel obligated to do anything like that or to agree. I would tell people to just shove it, shove it up their bottles. All right, just shove it in there. That's insane. That's insane. People are insane. Takes one to know one. <laughs> okay, I contemplated on this, but as time passes, I grow more inclined to do so. And I seriously need your thoughts on this. Not for a friend, but for me, as I'm completely stupefied by this happening. Okay, okay, I got you, I got you. We received the most beautiful wedding invitation via mail and have responded well before the deadline with our choice of dinner and space for two. Days later, we receive a sweet voicemail of thanks for responding, followed by a request for $150 to cover dinner at $75 per person. What? <laughs> Has anyone ever heard of this happening? What an all of creation on planet Earth. By the way, this is not a destination wedding and even at those we've attended, we've never had to pay for a plate. Help. I agree, help indeed. You don't need help. The bride and groom need help. <laughs> I love how they didn't say beforehand that the dinner was gonna cost money, but then you like agreed to the dinner and then they, by the way, just so you know, you're gonna have to pay for it. I mean, I'm sorry, but even a dinner at a really, really nice restaurant is usually less than that. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. If you can't afford to have a big wedding and feed your guests, don't have a big wedding and feed your guests. 
a concept very few people seem to understand. I just received a wedding request where the client wanted me to pay $100 to photograph the event. I just drooled. I just drooled everywhere. I'm salivating. That's so funny. Stop. Stop it. No. Don't do this ever, people, okay? <laughs> I laughed and then was slightly offended and then laughed again. I explained, fortunately, I'm not in a position where I need to pay to work, but thanks for the offer. <laughs> but for real though, what kind of bananas we talking about here? Yo. Yo. That's a lot of bananas. A lot of bananas. Respectfully. No! <laughs> when your braid maid didn't ask what color for her toenails. This makes me mad. Am I the only that thinks things like this make me mad? Your braid maid? <laughs> Is that you? Is that what you look like right now? That little bit moji thing? Are you angry? <laughs> Nothing says classy like asking strangers to Venmo you money because you're getting married. Why not, right? <laughs> Why not? Buy me a drink. You've never seen me or spoken to me. I probably cut you off on the highway, but buy me a drink. Why not? See, this is the thing with entitled people. I think that they've learned that if you just ask and you pressure people to do it, they might just do it. But some of us have too much pride to ask people to do everything for us. <laughs> Couple didn't pay, so the photographer cat pays all the images. However, a question is, is it because those photos were pretty over-filtered anyway? <laughs> bride cats and bride cat. Bride cat and baby cat. <laughs> That's what you get. Just a bunch of cats. Sassy cats at a wedding. Help, I need advice. My fiance and I are having lots of issues right now. We can't stop fighting and I don't know what to do. I quit my job because wedding planning was taking up so much time and my fiance is refusing to get a second job. He doesn't understand that I don't have time to get ready for work. Drive to work, be somewhere else all day and drive home. I need to be home to plan this wedding. I am trying to get a job from home but it is difficult. I asked him to get a second job and he won't. It really, bugs me because we are spending $80,000 on this wedding and he keeps saying that we should spend less. Uh, hello, no, this is my wedding. It's also his wedding. I've been dreaming of it since I was little and I refuse to have anything but my dream wedding. How can I convince him to work a second job to pay for this? What happened to happy wife, happy life? I'm sorry, I don't feel sorry for you. Like I literally do not feel bad. <laughs> maybe don't have an $80,000 wedding. Maybe, just maybe, your husband is angry about the $80,000 because he's having second thoughts about marrying you and that's a lot of money to just throw in the trash. Oh, okay, 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 calm down, calm down, calm down. Calm down. <laughs> that one was a little mean. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm not really. <laughs> I mean, you, you know I'm right though. Like, you know I'm right. My mom is an artificial florist and had an influencer with 70,000 followers ask for free wedding flowers for exposure. Thank you for your response. Let me know if you're interested in a barter collection. In exchange for your products, I will post pictures and stories with tag and hashtag to your page and link to your store. Or why don't you pay for your wedding items yourself and then post pictures and stories to your page just like I would. If I buy something and it's fantastic. I let people know it's the right thing to do for small independent designers, especially right now. I've had 75 weddings postponed this year because of COVID, but it hasn't stopped influencers asking for things for free. You're number six this month alone. Having Instagram followers isn't a quick and easy ride to free stuff town. So please, especially in times like now, help others by actually buying what you need and then posting reviews. It costs that much because it takes me hours. It costs that much because I don't have superpowers. You need to pay for my skills because exposure doesn't pay the bills. It costs that much because it takes me hours. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here every day. Literally every day. Interesting tidbit of information. A guy that ghosted me just texted me. So that's a Interesting little side note to this video. I leave you on red. Hey, I know it's last minute, but would you be able to make a wedding cake by noon on Sunday? I can possibly fit something in by Sunday, but it's gonna depend on what you're interested in getting. Something like this, but not too big. I'm only expecting 300 people. <laughs> wow, I'm sorry, that's gonna be impossible for me to fit in on such short notice. Okay, I understand. Are you sure? On TV, they complete bigger cakes than this in a short time. Are you a beginner? But they do it on TV. Why can't you? No. Why are you saying woman 
I think we have established by now that brides are crazy. Most of them, not most, just the ones that end up on social media. The couple invited family and friends to their dream home for their weekend wedding celebration, saying it was God's plan that they should get married there. Just one problem, they didn't own the mansion and they didn't get permission from the owner. <laughs> South Florida couple, always from Florida, tries to have a wedding at a stranger's mansion without getting permission. Imagine feeling entitled to someone else's mansion that you don't know. <laughs> but it's my name. Searching for a photographer for my wedding. Here are my requirements. Must be willing to do job for free. Must have at least eight years of experience. Must be at the wedding all time. No breaks. Bring your own food and drinks. Sign me up. Sounds like the opportunity of a lifetime. Fortunately, my landlord is giving me a break and I only need four exposures to pay for my rent. Just four. I offered to shoot an entire wedding for $400, $400, 12 plus hours of shooting, 24 editing. An average photography package usually started at 2K. I just got yelled at for charging that much. If you don't have it in your budget, take it with an iPhone. I don't care. Correct. Literally facts. All right. <sighs> but you just press a button. Alrighty guys, that was Bradzilla's part, I don't even know. <laughs> I literally don't even know. I'll pray for you all. I look like Mother Teresa. 